Hey, Exploration Nation. I am back at the location of the old ghost town, uh, and today I have a special guest with me. John Spike Explorers has joined me for today's exploration, and we're going to have some great content for you coming from here. I've been down here twice already, and when this video is posted, the other videos may or may not be out yet, um, but um, I can promise you, you're going to enjoy it. Um, this location is the location of a ghost town that dates back um, to the 1800s, late 1800s, and it's down this road here, uh, quite a ways as a matter of fact, we're going to be uh, walking for a while in order to get to what's back there, but the original buildings are gone from there, there used to be a church down there which is now right up here, uh, the newer building is right here, it was originally down the road in town, there's also a schoolhouse and houses and so on, but all those structures are gone. And later on, what happened was, was that apparently somebody came in and built a development of vacation homes, weekend homes, uh, whatever, I think in the late 60s, maybe early 70s. And there's five of them back here. I think we're going to take a hike down the road and we're going to be hiking for a while. So I will see you with John when we get there. This road were, walks, as the saying goes, it's not really proper English, I know, but it walks further than it really is. It's only about a mile and a half or so back here, but by the time you get back here, you'll swear that it was at least three miles. And it's because it's up and down, cross country. A lot of rocks. A lot of rocks, rough terrain, washed out places. Yeah. Looks like this right here makes uh, walking more difficult. Whew, boy, there's an animal that decided to just, <laughs> that that's an animal that didn't make it to the outhouse, let's just say. <laughs> All right, John Spike Explorers and I are coming up on the first house. And I almost walked by it again. First few times I came back here, I didn't know this was here until all the leaves were gone off the trees. This was the first house here. And it was concealed by a small hill. And I was uh, sitting, taking shelter from the rain last time I was here at the next house over that way. And just so happened to look over here and see it. Now right over there is where the uh, drink can made its debut yeah. now you can see the trees and uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about I will put that segment in here right here somebody's coming up the road and threw a can because that's exactly what that sounded like okay there's nobody down there you see what I mean it was either up in the top of one of these trees and hit all the branches coming down or else it was thrown up here. That's the only two things that I know could happen. Yeah, the road is right over there, but it's down below the bank. Yeah. And to throw an empty can like that up here and get it to carry that high to where it would hit all those branches coming down, 
is not plausible to me. So that was one of my unexplained occurrences right there. I had no idea how that happened. Right now, folks, me. First house, there's the, here's the fireplace area. And it has started raining, so we're finally able to get in and out of the rain. Now you can see the place had electrical power. Yeah. But from what? I have as yet to see on any of these houses any electrical service coming out here. My guess is, is maybe generator power? Had to be. But uh, in all these houses, there are light switches and plugs. Hmm. And but there was no power out here. No, there's no power out here. And you see there's a ceiling fan right here. John's getting additional lighting there. It's a dark overcast day and it's it's getting uh dark inside sooner than uh, it would normally would. If the sun were out, neither one of us would probably need any light, but it is dark and overcast outside and getting darker by the minute. Um, well, I I think I think it's older mm -hmm. uh, because these are the kind of light fixtures that I grew up with right here. Okay. <laughs> now you could probably still buy those, so it'd probably be impossible to say. Well, is it old or new? And Retro Manic and I got into that um, debate at a house, the house that we did. This definitely was designed for some sort of retreat. Yeah, I don't think it was for full-time residents. One of the houses that we'll see uh, oh, wow. later on uh, was uh, may have been one of the full-time residents, if there were any. And here's an old fashioned fuse panel here behind the door. Another light switch in here. Yep, it, the, house, the house is fully wired. There's an old uh, fuse panel behind that door in the bathroom, the round glass type. And an old fashioned lock on the bedroom door here. It's all rustic. Did you check out this door lock? Huh. That's the bedroom door lock right there. Oh, I didn't <laughs> see that. Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. It worked. Did this last time. I do have to climb the mountain, though. This is straight up. I'm getting better at this each time, though. <laughs> you can see the decay in this right here. And the loft. Nothing up there. No, there's nothing here, no. Not but the cobwebs. That's it, and I'm finding them. Okay, John, I got that cleared out for you. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. No problem. I'm guessing this was their kitchen. So it's like the bar. I'm guessing maybe they used it for like the kitchen thing. This kitchen thing could have sat here. That's a little bit of a challenge right there. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> yeah, I actually got hung up on the wall right there. The candy bar and the door. Pretty much. And you actually literally can because there's another one of those door latches on the front door.
you would think. You might ask, out here, why would you need latches on the door? Well, wherever you are, it's not a bad idea. Guys, look at the erosion of the uh, house up there. It's like falling apart. Yes, it's starting to go, and sadly, this neat little house is going to uh, start going away. Once the roof or something goes, then um, it oh, yeah. goes pretty quick. Yeah, it just collapsed. It will. I so, love the layout on the inside, though. I do, too. I like the little loft up there. Yeah. You can use that uh, for sleeping if you wanted to. Yeah, um, and uh, And this is some pretty wood. I remarked on this last time I was here. That is some pretty wood right there. Yeah, I nice. like that grain. It's just pretty to me. Upside down, seventy-eight. I don't know if that's the year. It could well be seventy-eight or eighty-four. I'll light that up. Well, let me get in frame here. Okay. Oh, we're looking at it upside down. So is it? 68, 98. I eliminated 78. I don't think it's 78. It could, have, it could be 78, but. I'll have to put my eyes on to uh, see. Okay, now, oh, that's 78. 78, yeah. Okay. So we know. Number two. That is cedar. That's the reason it's so pretty. Oh, yeah. It says cedar right there. That's the reason why. Well, after the roof goes, I may be wrong about this place's longevity. That cedar will be here a long time. Yeah, yeah cedar is good. Yeah, cedar uh, outlasts anything. Those, these cedar walls will probably outlast the rest of the house. Because that roof going in, and it looks like this whole thing is in cedar. Yeah, up there. That's unusual. You know that house that uh, you and Retro Manic and uh, Kevin Saunders now did that had that cedar ceiling? Yeah. He had never seen one. Well, until now, I hadn't seen one before that video, and here we go. Another cedar ceiling. I had never seen cedar uh, ceilings before. And y'all's video and this one, it's only two places I've seen it. Yeah. It's pretty. I like it. If the road were such where you could get out here, I could live out here. Okay, one question that I had the first time I saw it and John and I had was, you saw the bathroom in there with a, a toilet and a sink and everything. The house is obviously plumbed for water question is is where did it come from uh obviously you could run a well off of a generator absolutely but there are no well houses out here there's no uh, well uh, connections that i have seen on any of these places the only other option would be maybe uh a common well that ran to all of them but that would be very expensive because you'd have to uh, lay a main and uh, uh lines to each of the houses over about a mile back here and for a development back here could have I don't know one of the many mysteries surrounding this place now there's an outhouse down here and my guess is is that having to have an outhouse out here probably led to the construction of the bathroom Because for those of you who have not experienced the pleasure, when you come out here in the middle of the winter time when it's about 20 degrees, do that a few times. That's the cleanest you, toilet I've ever seen. You will That's put a than McDonald's. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that bar is not set very high. I know, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I was just saying that uh, this uh, uh, outhouse led to the construction of that bathroom in there. Yeah, that's what I basically said. Yeah, because so this was obviously here before. Because you, you come out here when it's about 20 degrees, uh, A, uh, you are not going to waste any time <laughs> at all. 
And when you got to go, rain, snow, heat, oh whatever, you know, you got to, okay? We got it made now. So whoever owned this place got tired of this and put a commode up there. Don't blow. blame them. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, those of you who have not experienced this, uh, it's an experience. Yeah, guys, can you imagine coming out here in the snow, storm, rain, whatever, <laughs> and having to come out here? Obviously, there's a door there, but having to come out here from the house at 2 o'clock in the middle of the night. Yeah, and you know the wow. interesting thing is? It's crazy. Check out where the door latch is. Yeah. It's on the outside. Now, I don't know well, about what, you. What's, what's up with them putting... <laughs> Stuff on the outside like that. Now, maybe, folks, <laughs> uh, maybe they didn't want uh, the bears using the can out here. Uh, that's I don't know. This is probably the door to it right here. Probably so. Uh, I think that's metal. That's nope. But uh, having a latch on an outhouse on the outside. That's crazy. <laughs> There are a lot of questions around these uh, houses and this whole development. There's almost, another one. It's almost like they was trying to keep something in. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the house that me and Kevin did. Yeah. Lots on the outside going into one of the rooms. Yeah, I've run into that and before. Like a torture room. So but uh, yeah. keeping somebody in the toilet. Now yeah, it's a like now that's yeah, that's more along the lines of a prank to me. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely didn't like them. And for this prank, all it took is that piece of wood and a nail. That's it. Take a look around back here and see what there is. Now this is a nice little place at one time. You're going to be amazed at some of the others that you're going to see. Yeah. And I just tore my hand up on that. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> These old saw briars like that, they call them saw briars for a reason. Oh, yeah. And things like that. All right, guys. I've got to take a pause here for a minute. I have to wait till I get home on that one. That one's it, it's it's buried. Yeah, I got I have tweezers that will get that, but that rascal's buried. What we do to bring y'all content? Now that right there ought to be worth a couple of likes anyway. I at least, at least Absolutely. So guys, keep watching. There's four more houses back here, and they're pretty amazing. I was shocked to see them, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And plus, some of them are downright creepy. One in particular that I call the Amityville house. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. It can't. It, for some reason, the design of it, it doesn't look like it, but it just kind of reminds me of it, uh, the architecture and everything for some reason, and the feel of it in there, absolutely. And the feel of it from a distance, when you're just looking in the windows mm -hmm. from a distance, or looking at the whole house from a distance, uh, it's that's crazy feeling that you get. Thank you.